So in this video, I want to share two things. One is a lesson from my father on being assertive. And number two is the first time I put into action and the story behind it. My father taught me a lot of lessons in life, but one that always stuck with me was his lesson on being assertive. When problems arise in life, we are often called to fight or flight, aggression or passivity. The answer is found in assertion. And when found in conflicts of life, stick to these three steps. Number one, identify specific non-negotiables. Specific non-negotiables are things that someone has said or actions they took. The more specific, the less room for more conflict. This is strictly for conveying information with zero blame. Number two, how it makes you feel. When someone speaks or acts in a way that makes you feel a negative way, it is your responsibility and yours alone to make it known. Number three, make a request. After being specific and addressing how it makes you feel, part three is to make a request of the other person. What do you want to change from their other person in how they treat you moving forward? An example of this three-step approach can be like this. On Tuesday and Thursday of this past week, you did X and Y, and it makes me feel X. Moving forward, I'd appreciate if you don't act this way with me. I'd like to make one thing clear. A request doesn't mean the person will change their behavior. Requests can be accepted, denied, or negotiated. This approach is the ability to stick up for yourself and to effective, effectively communicate issues. All situations are subject to interpretation and oftentimes over-reliance on feelings can lead us to see problems that aren't even there. If you are truly in your heart wrong to the situation, stick to these simple steps to address the issue at hand. I hope that was helpful for you guys. It was definitely helpful for me. So I want to share the second part of this video, how that really helped me in my life. And I was, I was working at a job at a time. I was a contractor and being a contractor you're around a lot of like rugged dudes and you know, they're, they, they shoot the shit. They don't speak as everyone else does. Uh, but the, the man I was working for at the time was oftentimes he would become a boss, become very bossy and he would speak down to the people that he was working with. And he would do this multiple times when he would speak that way to me, but it was my responsibility to say, if I don't say anything, he'll continue to do that because we, we, people will treat us as we allow them to be treated, allow ourselves to be treated. And they, they might see that as normal. So that's the whole thing. There's so many different, you know, it's subject to interpretation, as I said in, in, in the post, but this was something that continued to happen. And at the time I had mentioned it to my father and my father had given me this three-step approach. So the next day I go into work and my boss is, you know, he, he says something to me. He says something that is like, you're doing it all wrong. You're doing this wrong. You're doing that wrong. And he had become a, he was coming from New York to South Jersey. You know, it was probably two, three, if not more, three hour trip. Um, you know, so he didn't have to be out there, but he was spending his own time to help, help the guys on the job. But he said something and, and then I said to him, I said, can I talk to you? And he says, we don't need to talk about anything. And I'm like, oh, great. That didn't go as planned. This whole three-step approach is going to shit. So let it pass. And I continued working. And then he had said something else. And then I looked up at him. I said, we need to go outside and talk right now. He goes, you don't want to do this. That's what he says to me. because you don't want to do this. So we go outside and... Meanwhile, I give this three-step approach, right? It sounds nice. It's easy to, to hear. But when you're in those situations, that's when you need the three-step approach. It's not for, it's for getting out of your comfort zone. If you're someone who's introverted, this is for you, right? And if you're someone who's extroverted, it's for you too, because you could just blow up. So, which is not the approach. You can just be aggressive. We go outside. He's sitting there. He's, I, I'll never forget it. He's sitting there and he's like, all right, what do you got to say? And- I just focused right on this three-step approach. And the first thing was, again, specific non-negotiables. He had said specific things the past few times that we had met, right? And, um, yeah, they were very like, it was like bully. I felt like I was being bullied. It felt like it wasn't like he's the leader and I look up to him and I'm supposed to follow his direction. He's running the company, not me. Um, but I had said the past few times that, we've i we've been in the same room you've said this you've said this and you've said that uh when you speak that way to me it makes me feel like you're bullying me i feel bullied and then i said to him at the end i said i appreciate it moving forward that you treat me with the same respect that i treat you 
And that was it. There was, there was no, you did this and you did that. And you know, you're a bully. It's, it's not even that. Right. I wasn't a victim because I, I spoke forward how I felt about it. And, you know, I say later in the post, right. This is something that you can also get lost in feelings. I speak a lot about this, right? Because it's all feelings, 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 feelings. But the truth is there's real feelings. We have feelings as human beings, right? And it's our responsibility to speak up when, when, um, when, it's, when it's not something that is, you know, and you have to be able to deci- de- decipher when it's something that it's, is it, are you just being emotional in this situation or is this person wronging you? And again, that's subject to interpretation. You don't want to be complaining about every problem and just crying like a little baby. But, you know, if you're feeling like you're being bullied, like I was in this situation, you have a, you have a responsibility to speak up, right? And I had said that to him at, at, at the, at, you know, at the job site. And that day he bought me lunch and... The, there was another gentleman I was working for, and he he was saying that that he was saying great things about me, the way I handled that situation. And it, it always sat with me because, and that's why I say in here, right, is that um, you know, you're the request are, just because you make a request, somebody could say, Oh, screw you. I mean, this whole three-step approach, it doesn't mean that it's gonna work. But what it does is that it builds respect for yourself. And Anyone who has respect for themselves, by nature, the presence of anybody sticking up for themselves will command respect from other people. Whether they say that or not is another thing. Whether they act on that or not is not is another thing. But you have to have respect for yourself. And in this three-step approach, when I put it into action, it worked for me. I was taken out for lunch and I was spoken positively for how I dealt with this interaction because life is going to throw all these problems at us. And we can choose to run from the problems or we can choose to fight the problems, right? These are all emotions. And people want to say we're not emotional. I don't buy it. I think we can be overly emotional. And I think we can be very robotic at times. So life is found in the the middle between both of these. Life is found as the paradox that I often talk about in these videos. And paradox is the assertive approach. Because when you find that line, you have to have the ability to make mistakes. You're going to screw this up when, when you put it to practice. I was shaken. I was shaken up when I was in this situation. This isn't supposed to be easy, but it is supposed to be simple. And that's why I share this video because you focus on these three things and they will help you tremendously when you're stuck in a conflict in your life, whether it be with your wife, your husband, your boss, your friend, an employee, whoever it is. You follow this approach. It's not pointing blame at the other person. It's pointing out specific things, how it affects you and how what the problem it has for you and making a request moving forward. So I hope that's helpful for you guys. Be assertive. And if you found this valuable, you'll find a lot, the conversations that I have with my father very valuable as well. I've done, I believe, six podcasts with him now. One is on the way. Uh, It should be released shortly. But learn a lot from his wisdom, and I know you will too.